Welcome back to another episode of Bash Reacts. I found this video called Mount Hate Movie. It's a mountain of the original hating ass nigga. I seen the thumbnail, but this is Mount Hate Movie too. I seen that it was like, um, I see three of them. So we probably watch, well, I see two more. We probably watch all three. So this is Mount Hate Movie too. I want to see who he got in this mountain of hating ass niggas. The original haters. The original OGs of hate, the hating so niggas so bad you even hate them when you watching them across the TV and they hating at you because you watching them hating at you. <laughs> that makes sense. On a fake presidential campaign, all just to tick Superman off. Bruh. All right, so last video, I arrogantly said if you guys could get the video to 10 likes, I would make a part two. Well, then to my surprise, you you guys got a 200. Well, damn. So to keep my promise instead of procrastinating like I usually do, I now present to you guys hating ass niggas part two. Now, the first person we're going to talk about is when the definition of hatred. And when you oh, think of a hating shit. ass nigga, you think they have some sort of reason to be hating so much, right? While most of them probably don't, and the reason is probably stupid, they probably right. have some small reason for hating the person that they do. Well, this person we're about to get onto has no reason to hate. They were just born to hate. And this person is none other than Kid Boo. Now, if you've watched Dragon Ball... The original... No, not even the original... He was one of the prime hating ass niggas. This nigga hated shit so much, he blew up Earth because this nigga was a boy. Not even, nigga, it was Super Boo and Kid Boo. Kid Boo was on Demon Time. And then y'all realize how they turned Kid Boo into Oob and Oob was black? But I'm saying, that's just my conclusion. So. Ball or Dragon Ball Z for any amount of episodes, you, mm -hmm. you will usually hear the villain talking about blowing up the earth frieza another hater from dragon ball z that we we, we haven't talked about he, he's blown up a couple of planets and he said he was gonna blow up earth and that didn't go so well he, he never right. got to it cell came and was i mean he did it once and then we reverse time it's like all right i'm gonna blow up the planet and goku stopped everybody who said they were gonna blow up the planet never really got to do it they got exactly. defeated and then we move on to Boo. Now, the yeah, moment we realized Boo was some sort of different creature, right? Is when Vegeta, after taking a fat ass L because, you know, he was being arrogant, tried uh -huh. to make a final sacrifice to take out himself and Boo along with him, which promptly failed. And Boo just came back like nothing happened. To which everybody realized this nigga is different. But from the looks <laughs> of him, nobody would guess that Boo was the rumored guy that went around destroying Kai's and all their planets. Because he was just a fat, fluffy, bubbly dude. And then a lot of shit happens, people got eaten, and we get to Super Boo. Now, Super Boo was evil. I mean, he, he literally turned Chi-Chi into an egg and stepped on it. While Fat Boo didn't look like the pinnacle of hatred that everybody... S Super Boo was on demon time. They was talking you about... can't tell me different. Super Boo looks a little bit closer to that. And he was a whole lot stronger. Piccolo trying to buy some time was like, wait, didn't you say you were gonna kill everybody on Earth? So how about you go do that and give us a little bit of time? This and nigga thought Boo was gonna take six minutes like Frieza. But nah, he, he just stood there on the lookout, fired a beam, and in seconds, murked out the whole human population. Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. <laughs> Piccolo was flabbergasted, because... <laughs> Yo, this nigga actually killed everybody on Earth. He After all the shenanigans with Kid Trunks and a whole bunch of other fights happened, we get the true menace. The true embodiment of hatred. That is Kid Boo. Unlike his predecessor, Fat Boo, and... Hey, why he look like XXX? Y'all can't tell me he didn't just stand like X. He looked just like X. Super Boo. There was something different about this guy. One, he didn't talk. Now, while all previous villains, you know, talked about, you know, oh, I'm going to destroy the earth. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm going to blow up the earth now. Kid Boo said, said was not a single word. Charged up an energy bomb and blew Sick of all the ads like this one? Just head to adskiller.com, click on activate now, add adskiller to your browser. Blew up here. And everybody was like, oh, shit. So, so that's <laughs> what they meant by this nigga's the pinnacle of hatred. And they all escaped to heaven. Kid Boo, not wanting to give up his hating ass ways, right? Promptly followed them to heaven and started running the fame. Them niggas was catching hands left and right and they couldn't do nothing about it. This man was a whole nother level of hate. And I think to this day, he is the only villain that actually managed to destroy the earth. And he did it without saying a single word. Now the next mm -hmm. person we're gonna talk about is a true hating ass nigga. Because he only hates for the petty reason. And that is none other than Lex Luthor. That I clip from the beginning of the video just tells you everything you need to know. Do you want to know the reason? 
Lex Luthor is a is the definition of a hated ass nigga. This man hated Superman so fucking badly. He had to create his own suit. But when Superman came around, he had the kryptonite on deck. Waiting for the reason Lex Luthor Superman. hates Superman. Like, are you sure you're ready to hear this? The reason Lex Luthor hates Superman is because Superman is more popular yeah. than him. <laughs> this nigga can't stand the fact that everybody loves Superman more than they love him. So he's like, bro, I'm gonna make it my life mission just to annoy this nigga. I know Stop I can't it. actually kill him, but I will make life. it my life mission just to bother him at every fucking turn. Lex Luthor will spend millions of dollars on a farce saying he's going to better a city, right? He's gonna mm -hmm. give this great technology, but there's a bomb just to try and prove that Superman can't save everyone. Like, bro, this man takes the word petty and just eats it up and made it his entire being. Like, bro, this man is smart. He is smarter than Batman, but he entirely uses his intellect just to fuck with Superman. Because he the sees Superman hate. as his rival somehow. Like, bro, when I tell you this man is uh, just the different type of hater, he really is. He went and figured out the anti-life equation. The thing that Darkseid has been searching for for his entire life and just brought it to him. I thought Dio was the ultimate guy for just petty hatred, right? But I was wrong. It's really Lex Luthor. This man just hates for no reason. Or actually just petty ass reason. Like he's proven so many times that he can get on the level of Superman when it comes to power. But you know, he always gets foiled by Superman, which just fuels his hatred. But low key, I, I think this man is just racist. Like it bothers him so much that <laughs> Superman, an alien, is looking down on humanity, even though that's not what Superman is doing. But that's what he thinks. He's like, why, why the fuck are you, an alien, looking down on us? So his whole goal is to prove that Superman is not all power, that humans can be great. But he yeah. just be hating so much <laughs> that his actual message just falls by the wayside. Lex Luthor is truly a hater among haters. But on the topic of hater among haters, the next person on this list uh, just hate niggas. Yeah. Why does he hate niggas? We we don't know. He just doesn't like black people. Now, last video, right I had Stink Meaner from the Boondocks. Now, the reason I chose Stink Meaner for that last video is because he's Stink Meaner. He, he's just hatred incarnate. But another dude who is on the level of Stink Meaner when it comes to being a hating ass dude is none other than Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, they got right. you, This man will find any way or form to call black people monkeys and like niggas and take. just yes, cave dwellers or whatever. For no fucking reason. This man swears up and Boondocks, original, bro. I, bro, this is that shit, bro. If y'all haven't seen the Boondocks, bro, the Boondocks is, is one of the best, I want to say, iterations of a black cartoon out there. This shit capitalizes on all the stereotypes, put them in each character, and make you love them down it's that crazy. he has the reverse of what Michael Jackson had. That he was supposed to be a white man. Like, Uncle Ruck is, is the definition of a racist black person. He doesn't like black people. This nigga been hating on Martin Luther King Jr. since he first started his campaign. Damn, stay you goddamn chunky cheek monkey. Huh? <laughs> oh, oh, you don't remember me. Well, I've been throwing bricks at your mark. Chunky cheek monkey is wild. I have never seen somebody so dedicated to throwing bricks at some dude, bro. This nigga said he was happy sitting in the back of the bus. Like, damn, nigga, speak for yourself, bro. Not everybody wants to be a slave. Do you guys want to know why I said that Uncle Ruckus is possibly on the level of stink meaner when it comes to hating? Well, that's because... He was the only one to be able to get that nigga stink meaner back to hell. Free, nigga, free. <laughs> oh. Them niggas hated everything so much that they bonded at the last moment, which is what got stink meaner to go back to hell because, you know, he was laughing his ass off. It was just like, damn, homie, you you valid, bro. You a hating ass nigga to the head, to the core. Now, the next person on our Mount Rushmore of hating ass niggas is somebody that's old school. And this dude rivals Lex Luthor for the crown of, you know, petty hating ass dude. And it's none other than Eustace. Yo, Bat he hated Kurt so much. One, first of all, I love Kurt's cowboy, though. 
<laughs> that shit used to scare the shit out of me. But he hated that dog so fucking much. He used to scare the shit out of her. It was one episode. I think he got forced to take her to the vet. And um, I, I think that was the episode when he cursed all that. I think when Curse saw like the space alien ducks, or oh, that's the one when he saw um the fox. I, I think it was one of them episodes. But he hated Curse so fucking much, bro. It's like every episode, something will always happen. You used to stuff. Baggy, bag? I, I don't know, bro. I'll say Baggy. Is this bag. crusty, dusty ass old man hates on his dog Courage for the pettiest reason ever in the world. Bro, this nigga hates Courage because Muriel gives courage more attention. Muriel's yep. just a True. nice old lady, you know, just trying to live her life peacefully. However peacefully can get with courage, dumbass in the house. Bah. But Eustace just finds every Ew. way to try and hate on courage. Like, bro, this man is so jealous that courage is getting more love from Muriel that his whole shtick in the show is just scaring courage for no fucking reason. That's why his dumbass be getting bunked in the head with the roller. Oh, uh, the nigga chin built ass, strong ass shoulders, or cucumbers for eyes yeah. having ass. I don't know where the fuck he got that fat ass hat from. From, but he need to return to happen. Like your elbows looking like they trying to do the hokey pokey. Nigga, like, yo, bro, how the fuck does this nigga hear it? Oh in my god! Ears? <laughs> no wonder he's so mad all the time, bro. I mean, if my ears were built like that, bro, I'd be mad too. Like this nigga, head is just wild, bro. What kind of physique is this? Nigga, long ass. <laughs> like, damn, ever considered taking your ass to stomp the yard, but you do great. But yeah, Eustace has always been an annoying ass character, just how much he hated on Curry. Now, I've seen the comments, and everybody's like, Yo, where's Frieza? Where's Frieza? Okay, I get it. Frieza's a hating ass nigga. If I don't procrastinate for too long, Frieza fucking racist ass. Long, I'll make a part three. But since I'm going on vacation next week, you, you guys are gonna have to wait a little minute, though. <laughs> Bye. 21 subscribers? Bro, I'm subbing. Oh, you got 13.5. Damn, I'm still subbing. Yeah, that was... He literally cl clarified the reason of hating ass niggas. Uh, it spoils in the, it, it spoils in the thumbnails. It's the first one, J. Jonah Jameson, true. Reverse Flash, true. Stink Mina, true. And yeah, definitely Dio, hell yeah. The third one, Frieza, Vicky, Broly. Well, Broly wasn't a hater. Well, he, well, he was Kakarot. And Sasha Bob. Man, that nigga probably need like a whole playlist of this shit. Yeah, this was, they was all hating ass niggas. That's the useless. That nigga hated courage because he was just grieving. And Mario gave him so much attention. That's why shit always happened to him at the end of the show. That was the thing. So, this is Vash Reacts. Like, comment, subscribe. Go show JP talk too much. Some love. See y'all next time. Mm.